Evelina Damore here, welcome back to my channel. I'm going to tell you all about my newest handbag for Mahafsoon. Let's just get straight into it and I'm going to show you straight away. Look at that purple. <laughs> oh my god, it is beautiful and it's been so much fun watching Mahafsoon and all the other girls get their bags this week and do their live unboxings on Instagram and Facebook and things like that. It's always lovely for me to see that. So if you don't know who Mahafsun is, go and check her out on Instagram and Facebook. She has thousands, hundreds of thousands of followers and she's absolutely beautiful. She works with all of the top brands in our little goth subculture. She really has that classic goth look, but she's got a bit of a Middle Eastern edge to it, obviously due to her nationality and it just works really well. So that's why our bag has a little bit of an Egyptian feel to it because that's very near and dear to her heart. And the color scheme for this bag is black and purple because they are also her two favorite colors. Now, because I had done black and purple previously for Riri Phillips, I did go out of my way to make sure that I didn't repeat myself. I wanted it to be very different and I think I did that. I'm really happy with the shape. I think it's pretty unique and it's heaps practical as well because of the size of it. That is 15 centimeters wide and I've already got stuff inside it like the matching wallet that I will show you in a second. So as well as being just timelessly beautiful it's really practical as well and that's important because these are everyday handbags so when I first set out to design something for my half soon <laughs> there's a bit of a funny story here um, we had a Skype conversation as most collaborations start and she threw purple at me she said she loves fantasy um, mythology um, the Ankh symbol but there was a, a specific vampire one that was um, like a, a different play on the traditional Egyptian one if we were going to use spikes they would have to be silver she adored velvet as well I was kind of leaning towards making her whole bag out of velvet but she said she wanted it to be really durable and long-lasting so I still managed to incorporate little elements of velvet without making the whole bag velvet but if you do want an entirely velvet bag changing the subject for a second i have already designed a all velvet wallet for viola you may know her username as we left i will link it down below so you can see who i'm talking about but that is going to be entirely velvet coming up very soon so design wise she just threw things that she liked at me and then i went off and did my thing and came back with this <laughs> actually this was the second thing that i came back with so the funny story was that i had a different design and i was trying out a different manufacturer as well um, just because it looked like they were going to be heaps cheaper, but <laughs> I found out why. Anyway, they made a bag and it didn't resemble my design at all. Um, <laughs> Mahavsun and I affectionately referred to it as our nipple bag because the studs that they used, I've never seen studs like this in my life. Anyway, they were like the pointy ones like this, but the tip of it was like a different color. So it <laughs> just because of the shape, it looked like two nipples and they were massive. Like I said, like teat 1.5 centimeter ones and they put on like four centimeter and just the way they position them made them look like a wreck little nipples and so yeah we just <laughs> ended up calling it the nipple bag it's really nice it's very different um this company did not stick to my design at all so yeah i just i walked away from them that is the same company if you remember made me the drug makings backpack sample and put the canary yellow interior in it yes yeah, so i haven't worked with them again if any of you are interested in seeing slash buying that first Mahafsoon sample, it is still in my showroom over here. So just yeah, message me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and if you want to buy it, it's completely one of a kind. <laughs> <laughs> truly is anyway so after that I really did like the first design but it was very small it might have even been smaller than a clutch it was just like a little carry bag purse thing and I was so scarred by that experience I said babe look I need to start fresh <laughs> we need to move away from the direction of nipples and <laughs> and just start again so yeah second attempt I came up with this and I'm so glad that that actually happened because I'm in love with this and it in my opinion, it is so much better than what I did the first time. Um, the Unk here as well, the Vampire Unk, is embroidered on top of this gorgeous purple, what we are calling dragon skin. Um, no real dragons were harmed in the making of this bag. <laughs> and it's it's almost, well it is metallic, isn't it? Look, look how the light catches it. It is just beautiful so yeah let's just have a chat about the bag what it's made from how much it is how you can get your hands on it because i know you want to and i know many ladies have already ordered it so thank you for that we will need to get to 75 for this one i think we're on like 15 already 
So that's good. That's good considering this video isn't even out yet and I have soon just got hers the other day and she hasn't done any promotion yet. So it will be very exciting when all that starts. So completely unprepared again, just seems to be how I roll. I have not measured this bag, but I will put the measurements on my site very big. It's just heaps huge. Let's go with that. <laughs> I do know it's 15 centimeters wide, so that is pretty massive. It tapers in, but um, not too much. So you can still fit a lot of crap in it. So there's several ways that you can handle this bag. You can literally just carry it by the handle or link it under your hand. I'll add in some footage of me wearing it so you can kind of get an idea how you might style it as well. And it also comes with a, a removable chain strap, which is the same faux leather as the bag. It's really soft, it's padded as well, and it's part chain. So again, that is completely removable from the D rings on the side there and the little clasps, all really good quality and um, really sturdy so they won't break on you. The back of the bag has a handy zipper and I believe, I haven't actually checked this yet. Oh yes, it is also lined, look at that, with purple satin, isn't that beautiful? <laughs> so that's a really good go-to pocket for things that you just need to get to quickly. When we open up the lid, we have a beautiful makeup mirror and the patch. Mahafsoon by Abelina Demore. That is me. The inside of this bad boy is black velvet. It is so soft and it's just disappearing inside the camera there. So I've already got some stuff in there. You can see it fits a lot of stuff. So let's see what I have inside and then I will show you the interior of it as well. So some of you are going to ask me, I know, will the Death Candy Coffin Wallet fit inside the Mahafsoon bag? Yes, it most certainly will. It will also fit inside the Goblin Queen handbag and it will also fit inside the Black Friday large handbag as well. It will not, however, fit inside the Beatrice Mariano bag just by about a centimeter. So I have the Mahafsoon wallet in there as well, which I will show you in a second. I had my phone and a big phone at that, which will fit in this slip. I'll just show you that. See how there's one of those little sachets there. So I've got an iPhone 8 Plus that will just fit in there and not stick out the top of the bag. And that's about as big as phones get these days. So that's, that's great that that fits in. Okay, the interior is pretty simple. So you can put a lot of stuff in there. It's lined with black satin. So you've got the two little slips here. One's tighter, one's a little looser. And you've got a back interior pocket there. All of this again is lined with really thick GSM satin, really luxurious. And we've just got a little zipper pocket there. A really lovely feature of all of my new handbags as well is that I put feet on them. How cool is that? <laughs> it's just, yeah, it, it will make them last a little longer and just makes them feel really high end. I love the detail on the handle here as well. So see how I've made it look like a little is that focusing? A little belt. Look at that little flap there. All of the hardware on this guy is silver chrome, so it will never fade. So here we've got this velvet border, which just looks awesome. And it is adorned with tiny little studs. I wanted some kind of understated embellishment, so I really like that there. Plain, it was just too plain, and then my, my company put big studs on. I'm like, no, it's too much, just something small. So that worked really, really well. Here again, that is embroidered. So we've got the vampire unk there, little silver pointy studs there. There's no way that they're gonna bump you or anything like that. There's the back of the bag again. It is a really soft faux leather. Both Mahafsoon and I said the same thing when we first felt it. We're like, damn, <laughs> that is really soft. And wait till you guys see it in person. It's lovely. I love how the sides stick out. It's just a really cool shape. I'm so happy that I ended up redesigning this for her. This is one of my more elaborate bags to date and I was a little scared to get the manufacturing quote but I said to myself you know what just make the coolest bags that you would want to buy yourself and then I'm sure other people in the world will also join in with my excitement and want to purchase them too so i'm not about making mundane cheap products i want to make hopefully limited edition not too limited but fairly limited um really unique high quality bags so also because we're getting such little quantities you hear me talk about that all the time the price goes up so the quote was about what i expected it to be and it puts the retail price for this bad boy at 189.99 australian dollars please don't freak out you can lay by it and i love that so many of you are lay buying it because you know that i need your money from the pre-orders to pay for the bulk order but the thing is it's going to take us a few months to get to 75 so it doesn't matter if you pay me over two months you know 
that's fine and if, if that helps you help get the bag at the end of the day you're helping out Mahapsun and I so I'm all for it and I'm super thrilled that I'm able to offer lay buy and also after pay to my Australian and New Zealand customers if you were to set up a lay buy that would be less than maybe $50 every two weeks for two months so that's quite reasonable so if you want to set up a lay-by, just head on over to my website and when you are at the payments page, don't select PayPal, select lay-by powered by PayPal and that's the option that you want to do. I have a video on my channel where I've placed a dummy order at my online store to show you how to set up lay-by, so if that's something that's confusing you, just yeah, search my, my, my channel and put in lay-by and I'm sure that will come up. I've also got a lay-by information page at my website under the info tab. Sometimes people get confused by lay by, so even if you lay by a product that is in stock right now, it won't ship until you pay it off. It's the same as a lay by in a store, they don't give you the goods until you pay it off. Where Afterpay is like, Afterpay pay me straight away, and then you pay them off, so it's kind of like a different scheme. So something I'm heaps excited about is the matching Mahafsoon wallet. Now just before I show you, I need you to use your imagination and pretend that there is an embroidered vampire unk on the front because we have decided to add this but the sample I had made which is lovely does not have that but it's still absolutely stunning so I was going to go with just that but then we started getting a lot of requests saying hey can you add the, the Ankh the only reason I'm not purchasing the set is because it's not there and at first I was like oh it's not matching enough but yeah you all seem to want it <laughs> and the poll was like 99% said yes 1% said no so when this goes into bulk production it will have the matching Ankh a smaller one obviously like a little baby unk so they are in every way now a complete matching set let's have a look at this wallet because this video is also about the launch of this so this bad boy is 69.95 it is black velvet on the inside to match the underneath lid of the bag and the same soft faux leather all of my bags are vegan i haven't mentioned that yet in this video so far so all of the materials are faux and we have the same mahafsoon by avelina damore symbol right there this is the same layout as my other wallets so it's got plenty of compartments there for your id more card storage here slots there for your notes a middle zipper and also a back zipper there i believe this should also be lined ah it is it's the same purple look at that it's just gorgeous if you love black and purple this set is going to be for you some other really exciting news is that when i am in la next month in april the end of april mahapsoon is coming to stay with me and my best friend lisa for i think three days so we're busy planning what we're going to get up to we will try our best to arrange a meet and greet i don't know how realistic that is when we only have three days and we want to do a lot of filming so everybody on youtube can watch that um, rather than people coming to meet us that are just located in la but i know a lot of you have been asking about it so i will have another chat to her and see if we can fit that into our busy schedule i know we want to go to universal studios i am absolutely dying to go on the harry potter ride again that blew my mind seriously i'm going to go on that 14 times at least another thing someone else just told me about yesterday was a tim burton themed restaurant called beetle house so heaps excited to go there and there's a whole bunch of other girls as well that i've become friends with on instagram that i'm hoping i might be able to meet as well because a lot of them are kind of nearby in like an hour or two of la where we're going to be based in hollywood so that's christina one and only alice lockhart from youtube you guys know her menku Gil, who i've mentioned a few times she sent me that gorgeous coffin ring and she's a coffin girl herself ah! <laughs> And if there's anyone else that I'm forgetting about that's in LA, please message me. I'd love to meet as many people as I can while I'm there. I'm also super excited that next Wednesday I'm going to Sydney. It's just a short flight from Tamworth. It literally just takes an hour, but I'm going to hang out with Black Friday. She is a long stopover in Sydney, so we are going to hang out. It's going to be lovely over the next six weeks or so to meet so many girls that I'm designing these bags for, so heaps excited about that. I feel like I'm skimming over things a little bit, but at the same time I also feel like I'm just focusing on the shit that's important rather than talking a lot of crap and wasting your time. Like you can see it's absolutely gorgeous the quality is insane i cannot wait to see photos of my half soon with this bad girl and i will get bond to film some footage of me now so you can see how sexy it looks when wearing slash holding it so please help us get to our pre-order quota if you love this bag pre-order it head on over to my website right now and place that order help us get to 75 i'm going to push it until we are there and then even then once they're made i'm going to push it even more so you might as well just bite the bullet and buy one you know you want to thank you so much for joining me make sure you add me on instagram if you aren't already we did hit 
10,000 between the last video I put on and this video. And now we're already on 10,000.3. It's so exciting. <laughs> I think 15 will be the next big one where I'm like, ah, and then 20, and then 25. Oh, where does it stop? I hope you're having a lovely day or night wherever you are and I will see you in my next video. Please remember to comment, subscribe on here if you haven't already, press that like button. I do read all of your comments. There's so many coming in. It's absolutely lovely. So thank you all. Thank you for being part of my channel. See you soon.